It's four o'clock in the morning, I'm crawling out of my bed. Another opening day is lying just ahead. The sun begins to rise and my anticipation's high, hoping that I'm gonna see a big old buck walk by. Well, this living outdoors is just the life for me. Sitting in my boat or in a stand up in a tree. Well, life is just too short. Won't you come along with me? And let me introduce you to this life. Living outdoors. Welcome to the show, folks. Oh, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. We're up here in the Oconee River. Same place, if you remember, we caught those hybrids last year. But it's not quite time for the hybrids. We're about three weeks early. What we're doing now, we're white bass fishing and crappy. You get up in here and you just throw some jigs, just like you crappy fishing in a lake, tossing these jigs around. And uh, a little bit different today, we're planning to eat these things. We're gonna have, we're gonna stop by the bar after we leave here. No, no, not the drinking bar. We're gonna stop by the sand bar. We're gonna have a little lunch. We brought the grease, the frying pans, the cookers, and everything. We're gonna try to get a mess of fish to eat. Now, we've already been in here about 30 minutes. A Little bit dark to film, but we've caught, we've caught several fish. But uh, a lot of them aren't big, but hey, that's the best ones to eat, and that's what we come for. We're planning on hanging in here about all afternoon. Gonna catch. 20 fish or so to eat. We're gonna go up on a sandbar and eat these things. Y'all stick around now, man. This is gonna be a fun show. All right, there you go. There we go. Little old bitty one. Yes, sir. That's a nice one right there. <laughs> That's a nice one. That's what we're after. That right there is what we're after. And I hooked him in the eyeball. I guess and another really thing, it's Jay's birthday. We always seem to be fishing on his birthday. Last year we were trolling for crappy, catching right. fish. This time we white bass fishing. I mean, it's always something different. We don't fool around with nothing long. We got to get to something else. And today it's white bass, looks like. And if you're going to eat white bass, I'm going to tell you, that size is about the best to eat, man. I, I ain't no way I'll throw him back. No, Laugh no. at me. Laugh. I don't care. You won't be laughing in about two hours. That right there is a awesome piece of meat. And this, these things get a red strip, strip of meat in them that you have to usually fillet out. And the smaller the fish is, the less of that he has. And man, that is some fine eating right there. Plus you get some of these little ones out of the stream. I mean, that's always good. Thin your fish out. So we're gonna thin them out. Jay, how old are you on your birthday, Bubba? Uh, 38 today. Oh, he caught up with me for about a week. Well, yeah. about a month. A month from now, I'll be 39. Feeling fine. <laughs> Folks, what we're doing, we're just working these banks right here, looking for these fish. It's just like, just like when you're crappy fishing, bass fishing, anything else. You're just looking for them. I mean, they, <laughs> they ain't no definite. But I'm throwing a little spinner bait right now. It looks like a little shiner or something. Jay's throwing a crappy jig, just like we've been catching crappy on. These white bass hit those too. We've probably fished 10 different colors. I've got another rod laying here with a totally different color on there. Pick it up and throw it every now and then. Caught a few on both of them, but we're just trying to really locate fish. If you ever run across a spot where you catch two or three fish, it's usually a little eddy where the water's turning back, where the food hangs in there good, and these fish will just stack in there. You can anchor down and catch 10 or 12 fish if you're lucky, and then you pick up and move on. So it's all about changing. you got to change. You never stay the same unless you find something that's just definitely working. So we're changing right now. different retrieves you can I mean you slow it up sometimes speed it up sometimes you never know exactly where these fish are feeding so 
you just keep changing. You can't stress enough. Just change, change, change. Stay tuned for a fish fry with Living Outdoors. In 1961, I built my first boat as well as the engines, and I designed my own props. Since then, I have become a world-renowned powerboat champion, and I've also developed a reputation for designing the best props in the world. My company, Propco, has revolutionized and set the industry standard for quality props for the last 50 years. And I'm still as hands-on today as I was 50 years ago. Whether you're into racing or an avid outdoorsman, Propco propellers are the best that money can buy. Susie was really having allergy trouble. My Lennox dealer suggested checking our home for unseen allergens. Phelps Heating and Air Conditioning has a simple test to show which allergens your home may have. After we had the test, Lennox made improvements to our system. A healthy Advantage monitor gives you the comfort of knowing your home's air is healthy. It's the most important investment we've ever made in our family's health. Add to your home's value and health. Call Phelps Heating and Air Conditioning. Now get up to a $1,000 rebate or six months financing. Hey folks, I'm Rob Moody, owner and broker of Western Realty Group. This month on Living Outdoors, we're featuring a piece of property known as Joe Sarah Farms, located just two hours south of Atlanta. This is truly a sportsman's paradise with a four bedroom, two bath, all cedar cabin sitting on 1,760 feet of the Elkmuggy River. This property also features a four acre pine, abundant wildlife with lots of deer stands and food plots. This 133 acre tract is listed for 540,000. For more information, please visit us at livingoutdoors.org. I'll give you another little tip about this uh, river fishing right here. Uh, I've always heard, you know, when you're fishing for these smaller fish, lightweight stuff, I mean, it makes it fun, but you get hung so much in here, you'll lose so many jigs. The water's dingy. A, a river, river water never stays exactly clear, not around these parts. So if you if you put about 10 pound line on your reel, the, it doesn't affect the fish at all, and when you hang up, if you'll just pull it a little bit, you straighten your hook out. You don't lose half as many jigs, and you can always just straighten your hook right back out and go right back to fishing. It'll save you a lot of money and time. Woo-wee! <laughs> oh, We're just going to catch big ones today. All right, we're getting a little something figured out. These last little cool spells we've had, we think it's got these fish holding in these deep holes. If you can find a deep pocket with shallow water close to it and you need some shade, these fish are running up in there and feeding. We fixing to catch a few now. Mm, there you is. Well, no, not this one, you ain't. He's right under that log. Let it back up, Jay. Hey, that's a fish on the jug right there. Look. Okay, that was pretty.
get it in the exact spot I want it. That's it. Alright, there he is. Looks like a pretty good little fish. Better than butter beans we've been catching. Oh yeah, decent fish. Gonna be a fillet in about two hours. Figuring out anytime you can get pretty five or six foot of water, you get in this shade right here, which we ain't gonna have shade long. So uh, we're gonna have to stick with it and see if we can't get a few more. We're gonna get a mess to eat here if we're gonna keep on. Another fish jumping right there. What was that right there? Big fish splash? Mm hmm. Half through right over that log. Yep. What you got, Jay? Lunch. There you go. Another good eater. I can't believe I had the camera on. Be on the in the boat to catch this thing. Dobbing it right around the bank there and caught this one. Not bad. What a In front of you. Oh, my bad. My hand to me just to hold it. There you go. Right here at the boat. Oh, yeah. What a sea layer. Sir. there now getting close enough we can eat anyway shame to say it but we were coming down the river a while ago with this basket in the water it's got a floating top on it we look back the tops wide open lost about four fish 
I think we gained one, but we lost four. We got that straightened out though. We're pulling it out of the water now. Good Lord. Something always. Job, Rick. White bass. Lunch. Lunch on the sandbar. What you gonna do with him? Bring him around. Might as well dive in. <laughs> what you got there? A good eater. Right. Too big for it. We're going to have a good. If we're going to eat at the club, it's going to be good. Right over here at the bar. Just a little bar right down the creek here. Don't tell my wife. There he is. There he is. There he is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, can we eat, boys? I'm about ready to eat. I am too. I'm getting hungry. Man, that's pretty good fish, man. Pretty good when you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Another we'll filet. Perfect. Stay tuned for more Living Outdoors. We're going to have a good old fish fry in just a minute. I've been in the surveying business for, for about 25 years. I try to pride myself on being where I say I'm going to be when I say I'm going to be there and, and accomplishing the task for the price that I promised. I've been in business in Monroe area, uh, working in Walton County and the surrounding counties for about four years. Competitive, dependable, and efficient. We are Alcove Surveying Company. Whether it's the heat of summer or the cold of winter or any time in between, you can depend on Pro Air Services, a division of Snellville Heating and Air to help you stay comfortable. We've been servicing your area for over 20 years with our fleet of over 50 service vehicles. Our technicians undergo continuous training to ensure that they can provide the most efficient methods of service in the industry. So for the best service in your area, give us a call at 770-982-9800 and be sure to ask about our 24-hour priority service agreement. Should this happen to you, your family, or friend, call AMPM Bell Bonds to help you in your unfortunate situation. We provide services to Walton, Oconee, Clark, Barrow, Madison, and Oglethorpe County. AMPM Bell Bonds not only practices reliable and confidential services, but we are available 24-7. We come when you call 770-267-2206, 770-267-2206. All right, we're going to the bar, and there it is. In case Melissa was worried about what bar we were going to, as one we were talking about, we can go up here and have a bank lunch. Because we don't have any shores around here. It's like a trip to the beach, look. folks we come up in here this morning gonna do a little white bass fishing the whole intention 
was to have us a big lunch right here on this sandbar. Now you could sit in here, I'm telling you, and ca probably catch a hundred of these fish. They're just biting like crazy. We have caught no telling how many and had some get loose. But uh, we got plenty to eat. That's all we need. So if these boys would hurry up and clean them and get them ready, I'm going to sit right here and wait on it. And I wish they'd hurry on up. Y'all enjoy. Let's get these fish clean. I'm gonna tell you what, folks. That right there, look at these fillets. Look at there. That right there is gonna be awesome. And there ain't no better time to eat fish than when it's fresh. And that's fresh. Look, one's still swimming. He was probably wondering what we were doing, but he wouldn't hang, have to hang around long to smell what we do. Hey, he looked kind of mad to me. Because he wasn't invited. He was invited. That one ain't good. That's a massive one. I might leave him in there another minute. Leave him in there another minute. My bad. I thought he was ready. Last batch going in the batter. That's it. Straight into the hot grease. That's it. I mean, that, I think that means it's time to start. I think you're right. Stick around. Living outdoors will be right back with some good old fried white bass. Have the thermostat wars started at your house? Did you change this again? Our utility bills are through the roof. Phelps Heating and Air Conditioning can install an energy efficient Lennox system that can really help with those utility bills. Let's call a Lennox dealer for a system we can afford to turn on. Truce? For home comfort everyone can agree on, call Phelps Heating and Air Conditioning today. Now get up to a thousand dollar rebate or six months financing. In 1961 I built my first boat as well as the engines and I designed my own props. Since then, I have become a world-renowned powerboat champion, and I've also developed a reputation for designing the best props in the world. My company, PropCo, has revolutionized and set the industry standard for quality props for the last 50 years. And I'm still as hands-on today as I was 50 years ago. Whether you're into racing or an avid outdoorsman, PropCo propellers are the best that money can buy. A home may be your largest financial investment. Protect your investment by building with superior framing materials from Phoenix Steel Homes. Steel framing offers greater strength and security. Steel will not rot, warp, or burn and is impervious to termite damage. Intelligent designs combined with strict manufacturing standards results in a superior finished product. Steel framing offers greater design capabilities, superior strength, and greater energy efficiency. So let the strength of steel support your next home. Hey folks, I'm Rob Moody, owner and broker of Western Realty Group. This month on Living Outdoors, we're featuring a piece of property known as Joe Sarah Farms, located just two hours south of Atlanta. This is truly a sportsman's paradise with a four bedroom, two bath, all-seater cabin sitting on 1,760 feet of the Elk River. 
This property also features a four acre pine, abundant wildlife with lots of deer stands and food plots. This 133 acre tract is listed for $540,000. For more information, please visit us at livingoutdoors.org. Now we're fixing to reap the benefits. We're fixing to enjoy it. Oh man. Yeah. Hoo-wee. That's what I'm talking about. Let's drop that. Hold I mean, these up. boys are ready. I'd have had to eat them raw. They don't eat them raw. <laughs> Sushi. That went his tail. Look at that. I mean, folks, that's what that's the size you want to eat. Boy, I mean, what's If they're not saying? big enough to fillet. And not small enough to put in that pan and just let them cook right quick. It's scaly. Mmm, he's too big. That's What's unreal. the old saying? Don't get any better than this. God, is that ever true? <laughs> That's the truth. That is awesome. And folks, I'm going to tell you what. This is what it's all about right here with the Living Outdoors crew. I'm telling you, it's rare we get a day off and today it wasn't about how many fish we could catch. We had to have the fish now, granted, but we didn't want but enough to eat. We turned back a lot of fish. We lost some fish out of the basket, which was great. We have got three potfuls of fish here we're cooking. That's all we're gonna have. I mean, it is about as fresh as you can get. So, um, you know, every time you're in the outdoors, man, don't just make it about the catch or the kill. Sometimes just getting out and enjoying stuff like this. I mean, this is a treat for us to be able to sit out here on the middle of a Wednesday when we're normally working and eat fresh fish on the bank of the river that we just caught them out of. I mean, you can't beat it. So uh, till next time, we'll see y'all later. We'll be doing something else. It's gonna be just as fun. You know, I'll tell you folks, there's one thing about this government property, and you know, we have a excellent opportunity to hunt on government property in this area hunt and fish they don't mind if you use it but they want you to keep it clean so always pick up things that you bring if you, and, and even if you see things that you didn't that you didn't bring pick it up and take it with you we got to make it last as long as we can you know and it, uh, it's, a, it's a really a great deal for $19 you can hunt thousands and thousands of acres and fish so that's where we've been all day today it's on government property public land anybody can do it so y'all get out and enjoy it you've heard about this life that we love so well the time we share the fun we have the stories that we tell so take your friends and your family into the great outdoors i think you'll like what we have found and want to make it yours